Right, hello everybody, welcome to game number 21, 85% effort versus pie after stream, I don't know what that means. It's Andre, well that's unlucky isn't it? He's got some garden, some mighty blow and some players. He's got a fucking cheating cunt on his team as well. Two, two cheating cunts on his team, fuck off. Well... Sorry, Andre, I've thought you were all right in the past, but until you sack these two players off your team, you're basically as bad as them. <laughs> Are we getting sea license today? No, probably not, Tony, no. Yep, calling Aaron, police. Shouldn't be able to have it though, should he? He shouldn't be able to have that. God damn it. 10k is 10k. Yeah, it must be, mustn't it, Skuro? Must be. That's the only. That's the that's the only explanation. Let's go straight into calling Sergo and Arzawain cheating cunts. Because they're cheating cunts and they should both fuck off. Oh, he's kicking. Fuck it, I don't give a fuck, do I? I'm already tilted, as morons would say. You can't have cheating cunts on your team. Come on, Al come on, Andre. You're one of the good ones. You can't have cheating pieces of shit on your team just because they're the same nationality as you. Fuck off. <laughs> it was one of the good ones. <laughs> it was one of the good ones. <laughs> it's right though. Just don't have cheating cunts like fucking ass. I can't believe fucking Yak allowed Sergle into his ass. I mean, I guess he'll like. I guess he'll let anybody into his ass. And that's none of my business, but probably shouldn't have let. Ah. Well, in that case, I'll let him off then. <laughs> right, what do I do? I make this hit first and then grab him to here, right? <laughs> I'm going to run out of time just getting mad about cheating fucking pieces of shit. God, I really hate cheats. I guess that makes me a bad person. But fucking hell, I hate cheaters. I'm not joking about them being pe cheating pieces of shit. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> they 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 cheated in um, CCL ages ago with zero repercussions. And not that I'm still bitter about it, but I'm still bitter about it. I mean, they're still cheats. Just because you don't let them cheat in your league, it doesn't stop them being cheats. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that was the funniest part, wasn't it? That the guy who reported them was the only one punished. <laughs> I've just picked up on my on my carrier. That was a bit stupid, wasn't it? <laughs> no, they did cheat, Coffee Monster. Ah, oh, well done, Wolfbark. <laughs> <laughs> Help me, fuck's sake. <laughs> He's blitzing this white, isn't he? Why do I leave him on his own? I guess I should have put him here, shouldn't I? <laughs> I know, but you know, I know you're getting where the, the way Yak always is. Yak, who's Spanish, a loud circle inside his ass and accuses Artemis of cheating because Artemis is used as a feature that's available to everybody. So. Um, yeah, it's pretty funny. I forgot to pick it up. I picked up with the wrong guy. What a dickhead. <laughs> yeah, they avoided each other. They had a private Discord where they avoided each other. So they never... Yeah. Yeah, exactly. There you go. Oh, oh did set it perfectly. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Yeah, there was prize money. It's still, it's still lame. Like, it's still lame. Even, you know, cheating for no reason is still fucking cheating and lame and fucking I hate it. All right, super old news, but once a cheat, always a cheat. I will, <laughs> I will. <laughs> like, Sergo will never not be a cheating piece of shit, will he? He will never, he will never not be a cheating motherfucker. Ever. <laughs> yeah, screw up. Simple as that. Hello, <laughs> oh, Calcium. <laughs> yeah. And then Calcium who reported them was the one who got who got punished. Amazing. This is risky for him, isn't it? That was a risky move, Andre. Risky move from Andre Boy. Of course, I'll just roll shit, as you would expect. I'll just roll like an absolute shitter, won't I? There'll be no bloody justice here, boy. I'll just roll like a shit cunt. Mm, that's not gonna help you, boy. Let's stand him up and smash him to bits. Oh, I've got grab. I didn't realize that, did I? Let's push you, please. I'd really like a push if that's okay. Oh, yes, very good. Would you like to push as well, boy -o? Oh, you would. <laughs> Three, four, five. Oh, I didn't follow! Oh, no, I didn't follow! Oh, fuck me. This is a bit risky then, isn't it? Oh, that was annoying. <laughs> Fuck you, Circle, you cunt! Ha ha ha! Justiv. <laughs> Shame the app all worked. <laughs> of course he gets the ball carrier fuck off <laughs> That was a terrible fireball, I think. Maybe I tilted him with the cheating talk. Like, that's a real bad fireball. Okay, there's a bunch of people there, but you're only 50-50 to get the ball. And you've got no threat, seeing as you've just lost a bull centre, and your other bull centre's on the other side of the field. That was a real weird... Real weird fireball there. Real bad. I'd expect better from Andre. Real bad fireball. Cause he got lucky getting the fucking ball carrier in the ball, but never mind. Exactly coffee, exactly coffee monster, yeah. <laughs> yes, help, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but you know, it, it doesn't, to me, it doesn't matter whether there's money involved or not. I think if you're, a, if you're a cheat, you're a cheat. And obviously, some things are worse than others still, but still. I really don't like cheats. I think that's fair. I think that's a fine attitude to have. 
I'm not going to hate somebody forever over it, really. I don't really hate Sergal, do I? I don't know him. But he's still a fucking cheat, isn't he? <laughs> I'm never going to get tired of calling him a cheat because he's a cheat. <laughs> No DP, good. Should have made these blocks first, shouldn't he, really, for an extra plus one? That was pretty dumb. <laughs> oh, I only gets to make one anyway. Wayne can get punched by Mighty Blow, that seems good. He's got to play Tim, hasn't he? Gets us an extra punch as well from a mummy, which is nice. Do I want to go a little bit in front? Yeah, why not? Fucking push. Maybe I should have stood him up for... I don't know. Oh, fuck off, man. Imagine doing such a shit fireball and getting rewarded for it so heavily. Annoying. Feed it the pigs, Errol! I watched that last night, can't you? It was on TV in England. And I couldn't... Yeah, but it wasn't safe moves, right? I wanted to stand him up and move him to there to protect the ball, but then I thought I'd rather have him back if I fail. But then I guess if I'm only going to move, I would have moved him four, four squares. So I'd rather have him near the ball if it failed. Fucking brilliant, wasn't it? The fucking Vinnie Jones. Vinnie Jones with the air. <laughs> like a prick, you're getting second thoughts. <laughs> now fuck off. <laughs> That was my favourite scene, probably. The, uh, the dick and balls. <laughs> the dick and balls scene. I enjoyed that. Oh, that was annoying, man. He did the 50-50 on the, on the knockdown and then the 8 out of 9 fail on the pickle. Otherwise, got that, got that, got that. Everything's gravy. It is awesome, isn't it? I did think about going for the pickup with the Rackler. I thought I'd rather have it in a blood stepper because it's only fa it's fast guys haven't got tackle, have they? So it's good having it on a block step. Than like the wrestle, like you know, you'd, if he if he blitzes with the uh, bull, you don't want him to be able to knock down the Rackler very well, do you? Good. Good. Oh, man! I need to foul him! I need, I need, I need to foul the cheating fuck. <laughs> oh, shit. Never lucky. I should have uh, stood up the mummy first, shouldn't I? Just realised. Can punch him, can't. Again, I've got I've got to pick up with him first, so that the others can get out of the way. <sighs> Fuck off. I guess I've got to keep these guys occupied.
Well, like surf the body, yeah, probably. But I mean, trying to get the ball was pretty much more important, wasn't it? <laughs> Seeing that I was fucking failing every fucking time. It was pretty needed to get the ball. Wish he had stand firm. <laughs> Interesting strategy, Cotton. Yeah, yeah, Timmy. He's a good. He's good at blood ball, isn't he? Hasn't got such good taste in friends. God, I can't remember the line, but I know that in this case, personified by a horrible cat, me. Yeah, this is horrible now, isn't it? With no rerolls, I can't try to do any special, any clever fucking surfs or anything. I've just got to do the safest thing available, which is going to be a three dice with with block. If I can, if I can get a three dice with block, hey, fail again. Things I rolled so many one in nines, please. No, of course not. Of course, he gets the power. Don't you dare get an armor break. Right, I've got a, there's gotta be a chain here somewhere, hasn't there? Okay, I think this is the way. Oh no, it's not. Fuck. This way. Can I get three dice though? No. If I blitz him and pow him, then I get to fuck him off, don't I? Which is lovely. If I push him, I push him to there. Which pushes him to there, which then I get to punch him with him. And then maybe surf him, maybe not. Sure, he doesn't run back and hit the ball. He's is he a threat? Nope. Nope. Push him away. Wrestle him. Could have pushed him away, I guess. Push it, but I didn't want to maybe get him to chain him in that. Do a pointless foul just because he's a cunt. Nah. <laughs> Jim Shad. 
Your sound is coming through your monitor. Oh, yeah, right, wait, sorry, yeah, I've turned it down because I was playing the music at the start. Right, you should have game sounds now. Nice camera angle there. Yeah, sorry, the game sounds won't have come up, will they? <laughs> That's my pedigree chance. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> Fucking great. So many great lines in that one. Though. Well, a disappointing amount of damage done. But obviously incredible that he's used the wizard and still got the touchdown, probably. Oh, no, no, because he did the blitz and burst. Alright, so now it's probably haven't got the touchdown. Fuck me. Fuck me. What could I have done there then? I guess dodge out the wrestler and put him round rather than block him there. Should have dodged him and cut him around. Fuck me, that was dumb of me, wasn't it? I can't, I can't resist punching him. That was 85% effort, yeah. You're asking for trouble with 85% effort against Andre, really. This is probably stupid. <laughs> I mean, three dice with mighty blow, is that even worth it? Probably not, is it? Two dice with mighty blow, two dice with mighty blow, three dice, but it's a one in 27. Fuck it. But he just wasn't a very good player to hit, was he? But yeah, I guess he should have dodged to show that up. I thought I'd done enough with two people on him, but obviously it wasn't enough. Phew. Hey, KO back, that's nice. Really surprised by his wizard still. I'm still surprised by his wizard. I thought that was a real bad. Like, you know, obviously it had the potential to be really good, but I didn't think he was that out of it that he needed to. Imagine if he kept it and he could have bought that guy at the end. I thought it was real bad. And not not because I'm fucking tilted or I think, you know, he's a dickhead for having cheaters on his team. I just think it wasn't. It was. It, it would. It could have been the right play if he thought he was crap, and the only way he could win was by getting really lucky, or you know, thought the team, my team, was much better than his, and the only way he could get lucky, he could win, was by getting really lucky by hitting so many players. But I think he's definitely good enough that that wasn't the right play. Do you know? What I, do you know what I mean? <laughs> Like his team is good enough as well. It's not like he's got an absolutely terrible team that would have had no chance. I think definitely sometimes a wizard like that is the best player. The real sage advice of Blood Bowl is do it sometimes. Oh my god. 
fucking toe is killing me. Fuck's sake. My toenail grew back that I had fucking removed. It's fucking grown back. It's fucking horrible. It fucking kills. Oh, good. Nice we got regen. I mean, his apple's gone, which is nice. No actual attrition done because it's just a shit her hobgoblin, but used his apple, used his wizard, and scored on his uh, scored on the drive. <laughs> Amazing. Oh fuck! Oh no, it's win, win, win. Obviously, regens, right? There's no doubt that win regens. So I did get out past that half. <laughs> oh no, equally because he used the apple. Fuck. But still, he he didn't lose anything because it was just a hobble, whereas a dirty player has been lost. Five percent regens. Well, I don't. I don't get that meme. Wolf bark. Something to do with Wayne, is it? Wayne. Maybe the rookie uh, white should go on the LOS. Maybe I should do the die offset every time. Can't be asked though. Should maybe think about setups. There you are, coffee monster. Hello, Henry Judas. Judah Fagor. <laughs> <laughs> that was one of my favourite faggots. <laughs> oh, good old faggots. Used a used a reroll. That's nice, isn't it? it? Hasn't made a remover. <laughs> Can't even knock Wayne down. Three dice blitz win. It looks like it, doesn't it? With four assists in. 
<laughs> funny that he's still banned. I don't want to unban him yet, because he does my head in sometimes. That's a that's a very good prime coffee monster, yeah. Oh god, good job he had three dice. Double skull there would have been hilarious, wouldn't it? Wayne the absolute champion. <laughs> One of the options here, then. That's real tempting to go for the... Put a bit of pressure on the ball, isn't it? Real tempting. down with three dice. Seems pretty standard to me. GFI there at the end. Bit of an overcommit here, but why not? 85%, who gives a fuck? Hello, Natario. Yeah, it's a good point on Street Fighter. They never care about that, do they? They never care about cauliflower ears. Why do you think we had be dr I'm drunk and not joking? They aren't bad guesses. Fucking <laughs> Vessel. Vessel's great. <laughs> Bezel. <laughs> Both hours of playtesting resulted in nerf delves. <laughs> Fucking great. <laughs> yeah, that was one of my favourite lines. Fucking arrow. The guard here may, makes it a little bit tougher from the 2D, the, uh, the cool, that's what I was thinking. That's why I put him there even despite not getting the POW, because obviously if I'd got the POW on this guy, then the guard could have been in there. Like, the fucking mummy could have been in here, the guard could have been in there, and it would have been really good. It would have been looking real good if uh, if that had been a POW, but... Oh, well, there you go. He, gets the, he gets the fucking POW there. And kills him. Brilliant. Instant removal. That's what happens when you base somebody. Herp derp, base, 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 I'm armor it, this won't fail. Boop, boop, boop. Expose a ghoul, he, I mean, he should die, that's fair enough. This won't fail, I'm armor it. The armor seven hit by mighty blow is fine. But the fucking armor eight guy just gets inst hit by hit by a fucking hobgoblin gets insta cast. Classic. Didn't want him to foul this guy. He had this guy free. He could have just gang fouled him for side step there, and he could have just caught the ball couldn't he, randomly, which I didn't really want.
Interesting. I don't really want to do dodge that way, do I? Instant full power. No, it's not three dice because of him. Fuck. Oh, I can punch him with him. That's all right, isn't it? Could go for the three plus two plus to base him, but it's irrelevant. So doesn't make any sense, does it? <laughs> doesn't make any sense to do irrelevant moves, really. Let's get back in front of him, I guess. I mean, it's still early in the drive, but um, and only down one player, so things can still change around Skuro, but it's not looking like a loss, is it? The fact that he's so deep, it's going to be hard to go for the win. Obviously, would rather be a man up than a man down. <laughs> but he's used a reroll, so things could get hairy for him later in the half. Got a mummy on each side, so it's not that bad. It's not like you know. It's not like you can punch through easily at one side. Unless he makes more removals, in which case it's going to be easy for him. <laughs> he could have. Uh, he could have blocked with this guy, couldn't he, and chained him into there. Potentially, that would have been quite nice to get a mighty blow hit on him. I've just seen that now. If you could have somehow manufactured a mighty blow hit on the Arch 4 guy, that would have been very nice. For him. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's done for. And get stunned. Brilliant. He's certainly doing well in the armor rolls now, isn't he? Pretty huge, pretty huge getting two stuns there. <laughs> Three stuns. <laughs> At least that one was with Mighty Blow. Well, that's completely collapsed that, <laughs> that flank, hasn't it? Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Looking a lot more like a draw after that turn. <laughs> or maybe a loss. He could push for the win. If it keeps going so well for him. Just got to pull the girls back this turn and protect them. So we're going to try to defend with like two players or something. <laughs> Defending with two players for a turn is going to be a bit of a joke. Come on, one here. Oh, yep, two players. <laughs> Let's 
At least he's given us someone to blitz. That was nice of him. That was nice of him, wasn't it? Don't know why he did that. Good job, I can get an extra punch on him. <laughs> Nothing. Great. <sighs> Hello, Flicky Fla. He can't go for the win, can he? Looking at like turn 14 at the earliest for him. And he hasn't really made removal, so it seems stupid to go for the win. He surely can't go for the especially with three rerolls, he can't go for the win. He's got to he's gotta play for the draw. Oh wow, what a horrible thing. Imagine if these weren't all stunned. So they'd all just stand back up and all these guys would be guard locked pretty much. <laughs> we'd just be stuck but instead they all move and now all these guys are out for another turn fucking brutal stuns on moving three and moving four guys are pretty fucking horrible <laughs> no but you know what I mean though I don't know what's going on like, that was crazy lucky to stun all of those that's probably I'd probably like won him the drive that turn, making the three stuns. I think there was still a decent chance of stopping him until that. Now one guy holds up three players. <laughs> I don't think he even need to do that because it'd all be held up quite a lot anyway, but. Fair enough. It's not wrong. Nice. Push is pretty good, isn't it? Get a mighty blow hit. What about the Germans, Tommy? Oh, oh well, good job I got that mighty blow hit, wasn't it? Fuck me. I guess there was no excuse for not standing these guys up first. Might as well as you find it getting relevant somewhat. Good lad. Of course we get tackled. 
Une autre case. C'est pour ça que j'adore ce jeu. Ok, on est badly hurt. What TV do Undead start to drop off at? Probably a thousand. <laughs> a thousand and ten. No, a thousand, because the initial team is 980. So, a thousand. Because they start with two mummies. When nobody else has Mighty Blow or anything. Which is incredible. It's like, I guess if you could give them, if they could get block. You know. <laughs> your team would be a lot better. But you're not going to get reliably get block, so you prob probably... They, I mean, they could peak at about 1,200 or something, I guess. But realistically, 1,000 is where, <laughs> is where they probably do peak. Yeah, 16. They're over the hill at 16 for sure. Yeah, Pedro, yeah. <laughs> That's a Jimmy line if ever I've seen one. Well, there was a rule for uh, Augers, which means that must now apply to Black Orcs. Um, which people seem to believe, which is funny, isn't it? So who knows? <laughs> the guy who had GFI just gets pushed away anyway, fuck's sake. <laughs> These red dice aren't better than my two dice. Yeah, Undead have been spoiled, haven't they? Undead have actually, we actually know what Undead are going to be. Yeah, that's, that's pretty dumb. That's a pretty dumb conclusion to draw, but a similarly named special rule for a... <laughs> a similarly named special rule for a team has to be the same rule for a player. <laughs> it's like... It's just nonsense, isn't it? I don't know why people would, would assume that. Like Fight Soul Fight said... Because uh, because gutters pass on a four plus, elves will pass on a four plus, which is just wrong, isn't it? Because you know they hadn't nerfed the throwing of goblin uh, goblins or halflings, and they'd nerfed other things, so it wasn't necessarily true. Um, obviously, it happened to be correct, but it didn't have to be. Of course, he gets the AV break. It's nice that every block he makes is an AV break, and every block I make is a push. It's really fun. Yeah, Woody's are, but just the fact he was right, it, it, it didn't have to be. That's what I'm saying, you know. <laughs> yeah, Tony. 
Just because he happened to be right, it was just by luck that he happened to be right, you know? Like, they could have easily been a 3+, plus, couldn't they? Yeah, I mean, it's, I've got a draw against Andrew, which is fine, isn't it? He's a good player. No, Pedro, I'm, I'm not as godly as uh, Sage. We've got the 1D with no recovery and nothing else because everybody got stunned about three turns ago, which fucking annihilated the defensive drive. <laughs> Fuck's sake. And all I've rolled is fucking pushes. Pow. What's that? Daughter's got the stats to back it up, certainly. Stat completely meaningless stats he's got, but stats not nevertheless. Alright, let's go then. Fail the first one anyway. Cast. <laughs> oh god. I think Wood Elves will still it'll be the best team. Well, the best elves by far, because they've got more movement, and movement gets more important when you can't pass. Yeah, I could have given up on the drive once those three stuns happened. But you never know, you know, he could have fucked up, couldn't he? He could have, uh, he could have rolled quad schools or whatever. There could have been a chance to get back into the game. Yeah, like, you've got, like, you know, you can just as easily draw the conclusion that, like, we, we've got human catchers rolling a fat, throwing a 5+, plus, compared to the human lineman on a 4+. Plus. So it's quite reasonable that, you know, Skaven catchers could roll on a 4+, plus and, and you know, other Adj, Adj 4, X Adj 4 players, well, no, other Adj 4 players could roll on a 3+. Plus. Like, it didn't have to be, oh, because this Adj 4 player, like, that was such flawed thinking. You can't really draw any any conclusions from the things that have been spoiled. Like any any other things just because some things exist. If you know what I mean. <laughs> God, his fucking uphills are better than my fucking 2Ds, honestly. <sighs> no, they don't, Coffee Monster. They don't. They don't. <laughs> they don't. That's a, that's that is still a silly thing to say. We haven't seen the rules for leaping. So. Oh, I'm so, I'm so unused to grab. Like, I probably would have pushed him there anyway, but still. Oh, fuck off, will you, you prick?
get in. <laughs> G23. No, there's definitely, I mean, well, again, you can't say definitely, but I would imagine very strongly that there'll be a minus one for making a leap. This, because the fact that, you know, there can still be modifiers, can't there? Like, just because you're Edge 2+, plus, it doesn't mean they've done away with modifiers completely. Seeing as there's definitely modifiers for passing, makes sense that there could be modifiers for agility rolls, such as minus one for dodging into tackle zones. So saying that Wardance is leaping a two plus now is like saying that everybody dodges into six tackle zones on a two plus now. It's just nonsense to say. <laughs> it's just absolutely nonsense. Yeah, I am I'm sure of that as well, but it doesn't mean it doesn't mean it's true, does it? <laughs> Well played, reducing my team to six players, <laughs> not eight. <laughs> though those three stuns kill the defense, though, really. <laughs> Mr. Throw is definitely not a must, CSABs, and um, not using orcs is a must, I would say. I would say <laughs> not using orcs is the must. I will never take an orc thrower in any form. Well, no, I would never take an orc thrower in any format, ever. There you go. That's my take on them. I, I don't think he will be more relevant. I think he'll be the exact same amount of relevant. <laughs> I prefer the brawler. GG. Um, oh, I've got block! Yes! Nothing! <laughs> Nothing! <laughs> Nothing! <laughs> <laughs> hey, got him. Hey, not a Kaz. Kaz would have leveled him. I wasn't I wasn't doing a space cadet and Artemis there. Um <laughs> Not even a Kaz. <laughs> right, let's try and get a free player. What did he say? Good luck with your team. You too. I'll just try and kill a hobgoblin for you though. Yeah, but they're probably not going to have four, right? Looks like they're not going to have four. Yeah, we don't know. We don't know what Badlands Brawler means as a special rule. It could be like a. It could be, and again, this is pure speculation. It could be like the same as the others. Like under, there's one underworld thing, isn't there? Which means looks like which is on goblins and Skaven, and there's old world thing, which again we don't know what they mean. But they're probably you can infer that it, it's a rule for mixed teams. So Badlands Brawlers could be a mixed team of all the green skins. Um. And then Brawler could be related to that. You just don't know, do you? 30, 40, 47. <laughs> 30, 41, 47. All right, let's have a look. Let's have a look at mine. 34, 45, 20. <laughs> Not the best dice I've ever seen. 
<laughs> his G he did roll that double one though, which was pretty brutal. That killed his defense rolling that double one in the GFI. But then did he have to roll it? Who knows? Dodges were shit. Failed the GFI. Pickups were awful. Regens were 50 50. So there you go. <laughs> yeah, everyone else has done a rundown. I just haven't. It was two out of six. It wasn't. It wasn't unlucky. He hit the ball and removed him, so he was pretty lucky actually with a fireball. He was actually pretty lucky with a fireball, even though it looks not good because it was just a terrible decision, in my opinion. Right now, I've got to buy. Uh, got to buy a zombie after all that. I don't even know who's on the list. I'm just gonna get Flicky Flat because he's here. Now this is the number one team. Now these are the backup. These are the backup teams. So the, I'm seeing. I'm feeling terrible. It's uh, it's backup undeads today. I was really in a mood where I probably shouldn't have streamed. Um, got diced in <laughs> in the second half, and uh, still still managed to not completely discombobulate. So that's good, isn't it? Yeah, there's no clickbait title yet. <laughs> maybe Flicky Flick, maybe. Right, so there you go. I mean, that obviously draw versus Andrew is fine. I do, I do think he fucked up with the wizard. Uh, but there you go. Right, thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.